Okay, today I thought I would show you what I packed in a 10 to 14 year old gold box. Um, someone asked to get an idea more of how to fit stuff in and stuff. And so this bulges a little bit, but it does close. And it's one of the OCC Go boxes. Um, I always try to put some nice lined paper in for school. This is a um, composition book, which I like because it has convulsion tables, multiplication tables, and stuff in it too. A little fun BB-like maze. A pair of work gloves. I always try to put some sort of gloves and they can use them for cooking or walk or staying warm depending what they do. Um, Jack's game. I normally take things out of packaging but this has instructions on it so I left that on. This is a Quisby that folds up real nice to fit in the shoebox and I apparently forgot to put the instructions of how to use a Quisby in there which I'm um, need to do that. Mini apples to apples game. Jump rope. Spiral graph instructions. I'll put a link to where I have made those so you can print them off. I must have a spiral graph type toy in here somewhere. I packed this a little while ago. I don't even really remember. Socks. Erasers. Pencil sharpener. Whistle. Crayons, if you want to know why I picked this brand and why it's in a bag, I'll put links to my crayon reviews and tests below. A couple little dinosaurs. I know it's a goal, but I always liked dinosaurs when I was a kid, too. A little yo-yo. I normally try to go with story yo-yos to make sure the last I happen to have this one, so I put it in. It's cute, even if it doesn't walk very long. Um, some actually donated these a few years ago, and I'm finally getting it packed. It's a Avon beanie brand, like Beanie Baby. It has like a mommy and a little baby keychain. I always put stuffed animals in. If you wonder why, I will put the link to our post about that below. Some plain paper for them to draw on. This is their school supply kit. Um, I'll put the pattern for this bag below. It's really easy. And a multicolored pen to go with the swag graph, which I now realize is tucked right here. Um, they have these at um, oil training one time, they don't have them anymore. So I always liked changing pen colors. I thought they'd be fun with the spiral graph. And some pens. I always try to put a gel pen in because that's what I like writing with. But they're more expensive, so I put the other ones in because most people don't care. And a variety of pencils, both decorative and not, and different kinds. I will put the link to my pencil reviews below. I tested a lot of different brands to figure out which one, and found out most seem to be pretty okay. A little fun image changing thing. Um, it was on Valentine's Day, which about a penny. Um, and then this box. Oh, see, I don't even know what I have in here. Um, a few of these 3D dinosaur puzzles. I got these at H.J. Closeouts. They're gone now, but they have some similar one at U.S. Toys. And I made little instructions for one thing, figure out what to do with that. And some stickers. And you'll notice I have some, like, beauty stickers, which is kind of a theme, which is what this is. Ah, there's my um, frisbee instructions. Okay, so this is... I got this at Bargain Hut, I think for 50 cents. It's a collapsible little thing. It's actually some Always brand... Um, but I'm guessing they won't know what that is, and I marked off, scrub, kind of scratched off the part of the saying that I didn't like. Um, and I put this little saying on there, I don't know if you can see that, with a little sticker I made that said unbreakable, not glass, because breakable meals are not allowed, but this is unbreakable and that's okay. So this is like a little hygiene, beauty, bathroom kit for her. Some cute hair bows, toothbrush, headband. I like to do headbands instead of hair bows to some extent because in some of the countries the girls have really short hair and it's hard to wear head bows, hair bows, but headbands they can all wear. But I put some in if I have them. Bracelet. Another headband someone made for us. Another headband. Um, okay, I don't know why I had another toothbrush because here's another one. Um, toothbrush in a toothbrush case. I'll put a link to the, both the toothbrush case, the review that has how to buy both the toothbrush case and the um, soap case because I really like them and they're really affordable. And I also saw nice scented soap and a 
actually disc cloth, but um, doesn't take up much room, dries quickly if it's a humid environment, and I also have a soft little washcloth. Um, this one actually got a brush, which I stuck some of the hair bows on to save room. More hair bows, a necklace and a bracelet, hair clip, ring, more hair clips, more bracelets, more hair things, more hair things. Can you tell I got a good deal on hair things this year? More hair things. A lot of these, you know, you can wear as a bracelet if you don't want to put them in your hair or do something else with them. Um, sewing kit that I added fabric and buttons and lace and stuff too. If you're curious about how much fabric you might want to add to a sewing kit, I'll put a link to a post I did about that below. Some nail files, nail clip, tweezers, nail brush. Now, um, I can put a link to where you can get nail brush and nail clips. Pretty good price too, the same place I got the cases. And just some more random hair things. So that is what I can give you a kind of overview now of it all popped out. Here is all of the goodies. The toys, the clothes, school and out supplies, hygiene items, practical sewing kit, just a lot of stuff. So even if you're using a one of the official boxes. Remember you can fit a lot in, just keep walking on it. I get better every year. Hope Sony found this helpful and remember you can always check out my Facebook page, Simply Shoe Boxes, or my blog, Simply Shoe Boxes, for even more ideas.